Cluster bombs eject hundreds of smaller bomblets that detonate over a wide area. The bombs can fail to explode and are a danger to civilians long after a conflict has ended. In South Lebanon, Ali Hussein Shibley's son Rami was killed in a cluster bomb attack by Israel in 2006. A year and a half later, Shibley lost his foot when he walked over an undetonated cluster bomb. I lost my son because of a cluster bomb, and my other son is injured. On Wednesday, representatives of about 100 countries gathered in Oslo, Norway, to sign a treaty banning cluster bombs. Norwegian Prime Minister Jens Stoltenberg said the Convention on Cluster Munitions will make the world safer. Today we confirm that cluster munitions are banned forever that we, in the partnership of states, international organizations, and civil society, have moved the world forward. Norway led the effort to ban cluster bombs and was the first to sign. Next came Lebanon and Laos, where many civilians have fallen victim to cluster bomblets. But the U.S. has refused to sign. Officials say outlawing the bombs would put American troops at risk. White House spokeswoman Dana Perino. Right, this, is a, this is a treaty that was passed out of the UN Security Council uh, several months ago. We, we said then that no, we would not be signing on to it. Some other countries that have refused to sign, China, India, Pakistan, Israel and Russia. Human rights groups say Russia and Georgia used cluster bombs during their war in August. Nikki Whitley works for Halo Trust. The group has been clearing cluster bombs near Georgia's border with its breakaway region of South Ossetia. There was a lot of abandoned ammunition and stray ammunition that was left about. Most of that has been cleared now and the remaining threat is the cluster munitions. The group Human Rights Watch has appealed to President-elect Barack Obama to reverse Bush administration policy and sign the cluster ban treaty. Leita Hongfincher, VOA News.